Hey, everybody, it's Rick and Rob talking about real estate again today. How are you doing, Rick? I'm doing fine, Rob. Good to see you again. Happy, uh, happy day before Mardi Gras. It's Monday, otherwise known as Fat Monday or Lundi Gras. Lundi Gras is the day before uh, Fat Tuesday, Mardi Gras. So everything nice. around here where I am, I'm in New Orleans. Everything around here is pretty, uh, pretty well amped up for the big celebration of Mardi Gras. Oh my goodness! The town must be just lit up. It is. It is. It. It. You know, it's been it's been a year, but really two years since the last uh, Mardi Gras because it was it was sparsely attended when COVID just started and then canceled last year. So this is two years running now, uh, and uh, the streets are filled, the parades and the celebrations are going on like you can't believe. Nice. I love to hear that. Yeah. Nice. Wonderful. So let's let's talk tech today just for fun. Let's just for a little bit talk about how tech impacts real estate and how a real estate company shouldn't try and be a tech company and a tech company shouldn't try and be a real estate company, maybe something like that. What what do you think about tech's involvement in the real estate industry? I mean, both of us have been probably around long enough to remember before there was any tech and everybody used to carry around a book and drop that off. And that's how you got your listings and sales and things like that. I mean, my goodness, how do you how do you think it's impacted us so far? Well, you know, it's interesting the way you said that is tech shouldn't be real estate, real estate shouldn't be tech, but there's this whole category of of uh, operation called prop tech, and we don't we don't subscribe to that thinking. We know that in order for us to have a competitive differentiator, a sustainable, strategic, competitive advantage, we need to be able to understand how tech supports the work of agents and the consumer experience. We also know that we can't delegate or outsource all of it and not have our own proprietary tech platform, so we do. It's called Bullseye. It's a productivity platform that enhances the agent's ability to do all the things they need to do. And so I think the uh, coming together, the smurgling of technology and real estate, number one, it's not for the faint-hearted. Number two, it's not for the faint-budgeted. Um, I know over the over the um, course of our time, we're, we've spent tens of millions of dollars building the platform that'll help not only have us have that proprietary platform, but also have it be a sustainable, from an economics perspective, have it be sustainable um, in the long run. Uh, Rob, I think too many companies go go into those waters, you know, with a couple of toes that are in a, and they go in kind of tepid. And it becomes just a big hole they pour money into that doesn't really provide um, the competitive advantage for their agents and their and differentiate the consumer experience. And in doing so, they've just drained their financial wealth without really delivering um, on the promise that technology really delivers. Nice. Yeah. I mean, like when you're talking about this bullseye software, I mean, I'd love to hear a little bit more about that if you couldn't uh, tell us a little more. Well, it's a it's a platform. It's, it's um, United Real Estate and United Country Real Estate's um, platform where all workflow happens, <clears throat> or 90% of workflow. It helps promote um, not only market helps agents market their list, listing inventory, but it helps them in doing so. It helps them connect to more buyer opportunities. It also helps them do personal promotion. And then aids in the instant communication between them and their, their current customer, or or it it provides that instant connectivity to um, future customers. So it helps them. It's it's personal and listings marketing. It's communications so that they can continue to um, continue to connect with their past, present, future customers. And um, and then it provides workflow aids so they can, you know, anywhere anywhere somebody can get to uh, their phone, they can access the platform and con conduct real work, write contracts, deliver contracts, um, and be instantly available when when somebody wants to see their listings or connect with them about helping them, helping them find a house. So you need it. Uh, it's a slippery slope, and you need tremendous scale to be able to do it right. And that and that's how um, Bullseye, the you know our our platform came about. We we have the scale, we have the investments, and the proprietary nature of uh, of the vast majority of that will give us a competitive advantage. 
over time. I love it. That's great. It's always nice to have something in the back pocket. Yeah, well, it's a differentiator for sure. Awesome. I mean, when it comes to tech, I mean, for me, I know I can't live without my computer and multiple screens, and I've got to have all that kind of matrixy thing going on when I'm working. But like, for you, you're a busy executive. What can't you live without when it comes to tech? Whether it's a program or actual hardware, software or hardware. Well, it's it's actually both. One doesn't do much without the other. So, but you know, it's interesting. We call this thing a cell phone. I think we might have said this before. We call it a cell phone, but it's really a mobile. It's a mobile uh, communication Office. platform that stores tons of data. It it keeps us it keeps us completely connected to what we do every day, no matter where we go. So you say, oh, I can't live without my cell phone. That suggests that you can't live without talking to people on the phone. But it's so much more than that. It's so much more than that. With our platform, I can communicate with 20,000 real estate agents right from that platform whenever I need to. So, And that's what we're up to, about 20,000 agents now. So 46 nice. states. Yeah. Have you, got a, have you got a conference coming up anytime soon that people may, might, might need to know about? Uh, we do, uh, but it's it's our United Real Estate Conference, United Country Conferences. One is next week in um, in Miramar, Florida, and then the other is at the Swan Dolphin Hotel in Disney World, and that's May 9th, tenth, and eleventh. Nice. And I and I I've been getting those wrong on the calendar. So we also have a, a leadership day for all of our brokers, owners, and managers prior to that. So it's eighth, ninth, tenth, and eleventh, and uh, it's going to be good to get together. We, it's called uh, Reunited, um, a play on real estate and United Real Estate, our name, and also the notion that it's time to get reunited, reconnected, get back together yeah. and uh, and make sure that our culture is intact and growing, and especially when you have the number of new agents and, and experienced agents that have joined us in the last three, two and a half years, and it's, it's going to be great to get back together and to do it in world-class, you know, resort, Swan Dolphin Hotel in the in Disney in Disney World. That's going to be fantastic. Amazing. Glad to hear that you guys are getting together. Well, we'll cut this one today and look forward to seeing everyone next week. But thanks again today for Rick for, for your time. I always love chatting with you about real estate. Uh, glad to be here. And Rob, thanks for doing what you do for us. My pleasure. Have a great day.